So uh, thank you very much. Good afternoon. Good morning, um, colleagues and uh, participants from uh, all over uh, the world in different regions. Uh, thank you very much for your time and uh, for your efforts to make it uh, happen today to join our uh, webinar. So um, as you know that uh, the title of our webinar is in the Enhancing Knowledge Sharing in Support of uh, Agriculture Innovation System. As uh, all you know that um, uh, knowledge sharing is equally important as the knowledge generation. So if you know the knowledge that we generated at different levels from different organization is not shared at uh, a wide scale to reach to uh, the end users or the clientele who are targeted by those knowledge or science or innovations or technologies what we have so it stay at the, the science or the knowledge generation side so knowledge sharing is very important and nowadays the increasing importance also of the innovation platform uh, whether it's virtual or physical uh, space to have the interaction in uh, for different multi-stakeholders and the different uh, perspectives that to have this uh, knowledge and the knowledge uh, information sharing so uh, this uh, also uh, is, a, is a kind of uh, platform that everybody meets and interact to uh, have the this uh, the benefits of uh, the the knowledge and information that created at different level. So our uh, webinar today aims to uh, also discuss the platforms that we uh, together uh, at FAO Office of Innovation together with Arenina established for the date bulb Ashagar al Mubaraka the holy tree in the in the Nina region which is a, a very important uh, tree for the region and also at the global level as a cash crop. And it deserves to have its uh, uh, highly recognized to establish a commodity innovation platform for the date palm. Uh, so this is uh, why we are here today is to discuss the platforms that we established. And after we operationalized the platform at the portal level. So we received uh, an interest from uh, different stakeholders to switch also to uh, a mobile app to increase the accessibility of the information and knowledge, especially for producers and farmers. So this is why we switched also from a portal app. I mean, in addition to portal app, we also developed the, the mobile uh, app for the platform. So uh, today we're going to have the opening for this uh, webinar. Then we have the setting the stage. Then we have a technical presentation about the mobile app use. Then we uh, uh, will follow up with the Q&A. So please uh, feel free to uh, share in the chat box or in the Q&A uh, place for your questions and comments, and we will address all of them at the end. So uh, with, without further ado, uh, I would uh, switch to the opening. So I will start with uh, Dr. Vincent uh, Martin, who is the Director of Office of Innovation, uh, to uh, give us uh, his opening uh, remark. Vincent, the floor is yours, please. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Atef, for this uh, very good introduction. And uh, very, very glad to be joining you today for the launching of this application. Dear participants and panelists, uh, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues from across the world, I would like to uh, welcome you today to this workshop on Date Palm Research and Innovation Platform, where we are launching, launching this mobile application to enhance the accessibility of information, technology, and innovations for wider benefits of the platform. And uh, at this stage, I really would like to uh, uh, express a very warm welcome <clears throat> and gratitude to uh, Arinina for organizing this workshop, which serves as a demonstration of the importance, function, and use of this platform in advancing agri-food system transformation. This meeting also underscores the importance of the central role of uh, science, uh, technology, and innovation in, in driving the transformation of agri-food system. As you know, of course, uh, FAO has now this uh, first ever uh, science and innovation strategy that was uh, launched um, around a year ago. 
a very important um, uh, progress for FAO to have such a strategy, which is a framework and a backbone of what we do in the Office of Innovation. And at the core of this strategy, uh, we are dedicated to support member countries supporting their agriculture innovation system and national agriculture research and extension systems to address the current challenges we are facing. And uh, in the framework of this strategy, we address, we try to achieve these support to member countries, agriculture innovation system by developing tools, by developing methods, innovation hubs that facilitate the scaling out. Scaling out is very important here and being able through this kind of application and platform to scale, scale up, scale out this type of, uh, of innovation is extremely important. And one thing that I would like to uh, mention more specifically, and this is what Atef was saying, the uh, objective of this uh, application is really to better reach the farmers, to better reach the people we serve. So I think that's really the, uh, the key word and the key message of this um, of, uh, of the launching of this application today is uh, to bring it to a wider audience and making sure it reach out uh, to the people we serve. Um, I would like also to mention that we, uh, uh, through the Office of Innovation uh, and FAO and the Chief Scientist Office, we foster collaboration with a diverse range of national, regional, and international research for development organization. And one very important example, of course, is our strong partnerships with Arinina since its establishment in 1980. And this transformative collaboration has played a pivotal role in addressing crucial country-specific challenges, such as sustainable agriculture, food security, climate change adaptation, capacity building, and genetic resources. And through this joint effort we are having with Arinina, we really strive to create resilient agriculture system that cater to the unique needs of the Nina region, fostering prosperity and ensuring a sustainable future. So we are really, really delighted to collaborate with uh, Arinina in establishing and operationalizing this multi-stakeholder regional knowledge hub, which aims to promote the integrated production system of data palm in the Nina region through this type of ICT solutions. The platform serves as a digital hub for information and knowledge sharing effectively connecting relevant stakeholders and consolidating available knowledge, information, and technical innovations related to the date plan value chain. And also trying to better understand the production challenges, such as uh, red palm reveal or pollination, irrigation, and fertilizer management, among others. So this uh, innovation uh, platform actively contributes to and promotes regional and international events focused on date plan. We very much value ongoing communication and aim to keep you informed about the platform's evolution through regular updates and your, in, your contribution and interaction through the platform are extremely valuable and essential. In this regard, uh, we believe that Arinina will provide invaluable leadership in mobilizing dialogues, facilitating knowledge exchange, and uh, strengthening the capacity of small order farmers and other stakeholders. So uh, to uh, conclude this uh, opening remarks, I would like to express again my gratitude to the uh, Halifa International Award for Date Palm and Agricultural Innovation for hosting the platform's launch during the opening ceremony uh, of the seventh International Date Palm Conference in Abu Dhabi last March. And I would also like to extend my thanks to them for their continued support to this platform and we very much look forward to further strengthening our collaboration on various aspects of agriculture innovation with this i would like to wish you a very highly successful and productive uh, meeting thank you very much thank you very much uh, vincent for your opening uh, marks and uh, very great messages towards uh, you know scaling out uh, the um, uh, science and innovation towards reaching farmers and as you indicated, this is really the fast track the, to reach farmers through multi-stakeholders innovation platforms that consolidate all science and technologies that generated at the research site to reach to the hand of the farmer. So this uh, uh, one of the fast tracks that we use uh, through the multi-stakeholder platform. Thank you very much. So I give the floor to uh, Dr. Rida Shipley is the secretary, uh, executive secretary of Arenina. 
and uh, he is the, the champion behind uh, this uh, establishment of the innovation platform. Dr. Reda, the floor is yours, please. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Atish. Uh, Dr. Vincent Martin, the director of, of the Office of Innovation at the FAO, uh, Dr. Silverajo Razmari, uh, Dr. Atif Swelem, uh, our uh, group of people who are really joining us today, our people from Arenina who are involved in the project over the last year. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome every one of you. Actually, today we are so happy and so glad that we are really uh, having this webinar and one of the achievements which Arenina has done over the last year. And we are so thankful for the FAO, for the Office of Innovation, for supporting this platform and for joining us over a year on almost every other week or sometimes every week meetings and continuous uh, follow up because when I say follow up, follow up is very important for us in order to get the job done. So Dr. Atif and Dr. Silverajo, actually we were uh, almost in many meetings and many discussions. Also, I would like to thank the uh, technical uh, team who really uh, worked hardly in order to give the platform done the way which we would like it. And they are keeping on doing the work in order to have it in a better and an easy way for the end users. I would like to thank also the stakeholders, the people who joined us over one year in many meetings, many uh, Zoom meetings, in many uh, sessions for testing and validation of the platform. It was really a lot of uh, meetings and the people were always with us and every time they are giving us their advices and uh, what they could see in the platform in order to put it in the form today. And actually uh, we ended up today, we having it as a mobile application along with the uh, original uh, platform which is in your hands to uh, use. Uh, actually, the way uh, which you will see today, uh, this platform, uh, it's really one of the targets of and the goals of Arenina as a knowledge uh, transfer platform, a knowledge management platform. So uh, you would see that uh, it includes many stakeholders at the same time, including farmers, including the researchers, producers, uh, financiers, uh, association, the private sector, NGOs, uh, government sector together. And this is really a way of getting the people together in order to get the goals achieved. So uh, really, I'm uh, so happy with uh, the uh, support we have got from the FAO. Uh, we are actually, I always say I'm indebted to the Office of Innovation because it was a dream for Arenina really to go to that far in the debt fund. Today, as I'm talking to you, the world has 100 million date palm tree. The world's producing more than 4 million tons of date palm. 60% of this date palm is in Asia, about 32% in Africa. So date palm, it's part, it's part of the food security structure of many of the people in our region and in different regions, and today, when we are getting to the food transforming systems and looking at the nutrients, also date palm is becoming one of the components to go that far with the nutrition of people and to give the people the nutrients they need rather than just the food uh, itself. So today, actually, I would like to express my thanks. And uh, again, I would like to thank you, Dr. Atif, because I think uh, we were giving you a lot of uh, hard time uh, in meetings out of uh, your vacations and in your, during your work, uh, we were always following with you. So a lot of thanks uh, actually, and also I would like to express my thanks to Khalifa International Award for launching the Date Palm platform last year in the uh, International Conference of Date Palm. And this year also we were with them in order to establish the International Date Palm uh, Network. And also we presented the platform and we presented the efforts of Arenina and Date Palm in the conference. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, back to you, Dr. Uh, Abed. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rizan, for your opening uh, remarks and uh, your encouragement and also the collaboration, and uh, you're highlighting the importance of the palm contribution to the food security and nutritional security and the region and the uh, worldwide. So that's very important, and also the importance of uh, 
the multi-stakeholders innovation platform. Thank you very much. And uh, now we move to the setting the stage with the technical presentation from uh, my colleague, Dr. Silvrajo Ramasami, is a senior agriculture officer at the Office of Innovation uh, to talk about uh, how the importance and uh, platforms as a powerful tool for knowledge sharing and uh, and uh, the enhancing the uh, innovation agriculture innovation system thank you the floor is yours uh, uh silverash please so uh thank you thank you Adef. Uh, can you see my presentation is it in the yes presentation? yes okay Everything. thank you yeah thank you uh very much for this opportunity uh distinguished panelists and also dear participants and colleagues, uh, I'm uh, very happy to make uh, a, a technical presentation on innovation platforms as a powerful tools for knowledge sharing. And essentially, I would like to focus on the role of agricultural innovation systems in strengthening multi-actor innovation platforms. Uh, as you uh, and then uh, with, uh, with, with this presentation, I would like to highlight two important uh, um, uh, the knowledge platforms that uh, the Office of Innovation is maintaining. One is as part of uh, the G20 initiative called Tropical Agriculture Platform, that is Tapipedia, and the other one is uh, a standalone knowledge platform, which is called Technologies and Practices for Sustainable Agriculture. Uh, as we all know that uh, agricultural innovation systems uh, play a very important and crucial role uh, in focusing on outreach of agricultural innovation and also good practices and technologies to the smallholder farmers. When we talk about agricultural innovation systems, we mean that uh, it consists of uh, national agriculture research systems, agricultural extension advisory services, bridging institutions that also encompasses the agricultural extension advisory services and other uh, stakeholders that connect the agriculture research and technology development and outreach uh, connecting to the farmers. And this also encompasses the agricultural uh, education uh, institutions. And then we have the business enterprises, they also play a crucial role in making sure that farmers uh, have the access to the essential inputs and also services. And overall, all these uh, networks will be governed by the enabling environment that includes the policy processes, etc. So these players are critical in making sure that the technologies are developed in a co-creation mode by engaging all the actors together making sure that they understand the demand and also the supply, what they can expect from these research institutions, at the same time, what is needed from the farmer's end. Uh, to make this happen, we need to enhance the functional capacities of these institutions. You know, most often when we talk about the technical capacity development, we always focus on the technical capacity development, which focuses on various technical elements related to the agri-food systems, say, for example, sustainable land management or water management, climate change adaptation, agroecology, etc. But we tend to forget about the functional capacities, which is highly important, that uh, make sure that these institutions come together and uh, contribute to the development and co-creation of innovation technologies and good practices. And at the same time, they are applicable and accessible to the farmers. So when we talk about the functional capacities of agricultural innovation systems, this includes uh, how these institutions can uh, understand and navigate in a complex institutional landscape, making sure that they understand each other's mandate and what are the essential uh, platforms and mechanisms available so that they can come together and share their knowledge, etc. And at the same time, the sharing of knowledge and uh, on appropriate timely manner is also important to make sure to, to have uh, uh, an impactful change at the local level. And also uh, this information and knowledge should contribute to the policy processes so that 
the policy is uh, developed based on the information and the scientific knowledge available based on the experiences, etc. And um, <clears throat> so uh, we need to accelerate the process of innovation and widen the scope of innovations in agri-food systems that needs the ag agricultural innovation system perspective. And, and uh, we need to focus on uh, you know, all these elements, what I mentioned, including the partnership, uh, et cetera. Enabling smallholders to access appropriate technologies and innovation practices for uh, sustainable agriculture systems, it, uh, it has several elements need to be addressed. For example, availability of uh, the technologies and the innovations and the information and good practices is key. And this would be accessible to the smallholder farmers, making sure that they know that where these things are available and how to get them. And uh, these uh, technologies and practices and innovations should be actionable. That means that there should be a feasibility and location specificity of these uh, innovations and technologies. Uh, so that they are localized. And these technologies and practices should also have been created in partnership with uh, all the actors uh, involved in the agri agricultural innovation systems. Coming to the, the two examples I mentioned, uh, the one is the Tapipedia, uh, which is part of the, the outreach arm of the Tropical Agriculture Platform. The Tropical Agriculture Platform is a G20 initiative that was created in 2012 during the Mexico presidency. And this uh, particular outreach arm of the Tropical Agriculture Platform um, has more than 4,000 resources, which focuses on the capacity development for agricultural innovation systems. So the resources which, uh, which uh, contributes to, the, to strengthen the capacity of agricultural innovation systems. And um, this comes from uh, more than 260 sources covering 186 countries and contributed by 74 organizations worldwide. And currently we have about 54 members as part of the trop tropical agriculture uh, platform. Uh, we have uh, several resources that also uh, focuses on the uh, strengthening the capacity of the agricultural innovation systems, which includes a common framework uh, of the capacity development for agricultural innovation systems. And we have the fact sheets and tools and guidelines for assessment of the AAS as well as uh, the training manuals uh, that focuses on the functional capacity that I mentioned earlier. And uh, we have uh, the online resources that includes guides, manuals, and also uh, this is shared to uh, the different partners engaged in the Tropical Agriculture Platform. <laughs> And who are, the, who are the partners of the TAP? Uh, they are national agriculture research systems, education and extension organizations, private sector, civil society and farmers organizations, international agencies, consortium of international agriculture research institutions, and regional and global fora of agriculture research and extension and development banks and donor agencies, they are part of uh, uh, the, the tropical agriculture platform. And essentially they are network of networks in most of the cases. For example, Arenina is one of the most important partners for, uh, for in, the, in the tab and they cover uh, the um, uh, uh, Nina region and focusing on sharing of the knowledge resources that we develop uh, from the tropical agriculture platform. The second example is the uh, technologies and practices uh, for small agriculture producers. Uh, this was initiated in 2002 and managed by FAO and currently with the Office of Innovation. And TECA platform offers a systematic and user-friendly online archive of technologies and practices. They are field tested. And most of the practices comes from the partners. And we have over 100 partners uh, contributing to these practices, and uh, several of the practices are also drawn from FAO field projects based on the experiences uh, on the ground implementation and uh, based on the success. And we package those practices into the TECA platform. 
TECO makes available practical information on proven location-specific practices and technologies, and they cover a wide range of regions, and they're available in three languages, uh, English, French, and Spanish. And more than 1,000 practices are available now, and um, uh, some of them are innovative, and some of, the some of them are business as usual practices that has a lot of, uh, uh, lot of scope for scaling up to different regions, especially the similar agro ecosystems throughout the world. And we have 11 categories in TECA, uh, ranging from agriculture mechanization, beekeeping, forestry, capacity development, climate change adaptation and disasters, production, crop production, fisheries and aquaculture, and nutrition and post harvest and marketing. So we have 11 categories of practices, and there is a scope to enhance uh, the, the, the number of categories according to the emerging uh, topics and also uh, the range of other issues that is, uh, uh, that is coming up. We, we follow a systematic process uh, to package these practices and archive into the portal. We issue an open call, and uh, once the submission is received, we screen them uh, based on the suitability, and we contact the partners, give them the um, you know the comments, uh, how to improve them, and make sure that they adhere to the uh, requirements of the uh, Teca portal. And uh, these uh, practices are, are evaluated by the technical experts uh, in various parts of FAO. Uh, based on their technical expertise uh, according to the categories that I listed earlier. And feedback sent to the partners again, and once the final practices are received, and this is cleared by the experts within FAO, and then we archive these practices into the platform. Uh, we also issue newsletters uh, four times on an annual basis, uh, in January, April, July, and October. And uh, this covers uh, the most important events like uh, webinars and workshops. Uh, we announce those events in the, in the newsletters. And also we showcase some of the most important or recent technologies archived in the uh, TECA uh, platform as part of this uh, newsletter. Uh, there are a number of partners, so more than uh, 75 partners they offer and provide uh, these practices into the portal and uh, suggest we show uh, who are those uh, partners. And as you can see, most of them are National Agriculture Research and Extension Services and also International Agriculture Research Organizations, farmers uh, networks and farmers organizations, including civil society organizations, etc. So I thank you and all these uh, portals and technologies are available. Uh, and I thank once again for Arinina, of course, uh, you know, this uh, research and innovation platform for sustainable uh, data farm production systems. We have started like more than two and a half years uh, to create this portal. And uh, the ultimate aim is how we could connect these uh, new portals with the existing ones within FAO so that our partners can have uh, a quick and seamless access to these practices. Thank you so much, uh, Atef, and over to you. Thank you very much, Cecil Virajo, for your excellent presentation and uh, giving us like an overview about how to strengthen the national agricultural innovation system to enhance the science and innovation to uh, accelerate the adoption and outreach at the farmer uh, side and how to improve the functional capacity of the national agriculture innovation system and also giving the two examples of uh, what office of innovation is managing into platforms so i encourage all colleagues and participants to visit the websites that uh, my colleague julia put the link to in the chat box so you can get benefits of the information knowledge through those uh, two platforms. So please uh, visit them and also give your uh, feedback uh, um, uh, accordingly. So uh, now moving to the core subject of the, the session about uh, the structure and the governance of the innovation platform for DATEPAL. And uh, I call Dr. Malkaw and his team to present us the, the uh, structure of the innovation platform and for that one. Dr. Malkao, floor is yours. Thank you.
please you are muted, Dr. Muhammad. So would you unmute yourself? Uh, unmuted. Thank you. Thanks for reminding. Okay. Uh, just uh, we'll start with uh, first one minute and then later I will come back to this. This is the uh, Date Palm Innovation Platform. Uh, this up here is the link for it and I will show the link in a second and probably it will be on the chat as well. Uh, I will uh, be back to the actual platform but before I do so uh, I would like to uh, go to the presentation which I uh, prepared. Hopefully this can help us at least understand uh, what's going on. So this is the uh, research technology and innovation platform for the Date Palm integrated product production system in the Nina region. Uh, this is an uh, technically was designed by uh, my team, myself, and uh, engineer Mazen Sheikh, who is uh, with us today, and engineer Wafa Msellem, who is uh, busy at the university with her work today. Uh, and uh, we got, of course, uh, tremendous help, technical, uh, at least requirement specification from Dr. Rida and Dr. Nail, and from uh, Isra, the previous uh, uh, manager for the platform. So uh, this is uh, an Dr. effort. Markawi, um, apologies to interrupt. Just to ask you if you can please put the presentation mode. Okay, I will. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah sure. at the bottom right. Yeah, you have the scene. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Okay, so this is, uh, as I said, that's the beginning. And uh, I will show you the platform in a second. This is the uh, link for it. Uh, so just a few words. The idea is when uh, uh, we started the thinking about this platform with Dr. Rida, uh, and uh, Dr. Nail was to create and design an interactive and collaborative innovation platform. So interaction, interactivity was key rather than uh, a platform to present information and data, etc. We want this to be a collaborative, interactive between various stakeholders. So we inter interconnect relative stakeholders effectively to share and consolidate the available knowledge, information, and innovations related to the palm value chain and production to address all types of problems. We also wanted to contribute and promote the knowledge exchange and experiences between stakeholders of the platform. And we have an item which has not been used yet, but hopefully it will be. It's uh, ready and it's available. Uh, at uh, some point of time out of the exchange of information and knowledge, uh, maybe some projects can rise uh, from all of this uh, interactivity. So we designed this to have also include manage projects which come out of the, uh, uh, which are born uh, from the womb of the uh, platform with events and of course dis disseminate information about them. So, the main stakeholders, their researchers and their extension community, the government organizations, NGOs, uh, farmers, producers, entrepreneurs, uh, exporters, traders, funding agencies, uh, technical and expertise group. All these are the stakeholders who have who will share what's common in them is really the research part. There is the uh, research extension community, which is which was the first item. It includes all types of communities which you are more aware of them than me. I'm by the way, I'm not uh, an ag agriculture researcher, although I am a farmer by nature, myself and my family. But these are the uh, all types of uh, issues that need that have to do with research. Uh, the government organizations include ministries, agencies, policymakers, etc., uh, uh, agriculture research centers, legislations, regulations, policies, uh, things which have to do with trades, customs, uh, 
crisis, crisis control, etc. All of these government organizations, NGOs. We have a place for NGOs, for farmers associations, cooperatives, UN agencies, EUs, and here we have the FAO and the RENINA uh, already uh, part of this endeavor. Uh, some regional agencies, women associations, which have to, uh, uh, which are involved in all of these activities. We have a place for the producers and farmers and the producers and farmers and all that has to do with farming, uh, value chain technologies, uh, pollination, irrigation, uh, etc. All of these uh, issues are included. Entrepreneurs, uh, we have a place for startups that want to be to benefit from this platform, or a place to uh, to to initiate and and uh, start a new startups from all of these research that take place in this uh, uh, within the platform. Uh, place for traders, exporters, importers, market supply chain. Uh, hopefully that this will be uh, uh, of benefit for all. The expected outputs now, we, at the beginning we expected, and I, and I think we achieved most of the expectations, if not all, uh, like interactive hub for multi-stakeholders, including researchers, producers, funders, farmer associations, private industries, invest investors, government agencies, et cetera, et cetera. And the, the platform, is usable as we speak uh, uh, from the time it was launched uh, last year at the Khalifa uh, reward uh, program. Uh, it has uh, uh, progressed uh, quite a bit. So now we can say that it does provide the platform and all the um, all that's needed for uh, interactivity. Uh, so we wanted a model of innovation platform for date palm integrated production system. That's why we have the researchers, we have the entrepreneurs, we have the uh, funding agencies, so the, it will support all this innovation. Uh, alleviating funds and acquisition of financial services for projects. That's why we had already set up uh, a stakeholder for funding agencies from the EU, from the US, from uh, regional area, etc. Uh, identifying research priorities related to innovation, access knowledge, and modern technologies from global, regional, and national research centers. That's why we have the uh, research centers are part of this uh, endeavor. Uh, and of course, the uh, uh, all types of innovative ideas can be shared and exchanged. And then, of course, updating, enforcing laws and legislations that's why we have the government agencies who, need, who can uh, be of help at any time to provide the relative policies or maybe to update and uh, modernize uh, policies that are required for the progress of the uh, products. Okay, so now uh, let me go uh, a little bit more practical here so we can uh, look at the, uh, uh, the platform. So I named this platform in action. Uh, there are one, two, three links. One of them is the uh, uh, platform itself, which is arenina.org uh, slash palm. We have the two apps, the Android and the Apple. These are the links here. And I think the uh, those will be available, uh, hopefully on the chat, maybe Mazin can put them on the uh, while I'm speaking the links for the apps to download them. Uh, whoever has an Android phone, you can, phone, you can download the app, uh, or Apple, you can download the Apple platform. The other, the last one here, which I have it here, I will show it in a second. That is uh, a video uh, which we made to show how the, especially the applications work. I did not want to uh, spend too much time in opening the app and trying to show uh, off the screen. That's not going to be practical practical at all, but I will show this in a second. And uh, of course, I put this thank you so that uh, especially if after the video, uh, I could forget to thanks everybody, but so now 
it is the uh, uh, time uh, for me to thank everybody who is here, uh, attendants, as well as organizer, uh, organizers, as well as funders. Uh, and also, uh, I would like also to mention for everybody that we are always available to help with innovative ideas, uh, innovative platforms uh, to bring up uh, new technologies into the uh, farming industry in uh, in general, and in particular, uh, the uh, uh, the palm uh, the palm dates, which as uh, Doctor Atif alluded to, it's uh, it is uh, we call it in Arabic shajar mubaraka. It's a blessed blessed uh, blessed tree, and uh, you you will not find uh, a home in the entire uh, region that does not use dates almost on a daily basis, especially in Ramadan, of course, but more so uh, uh, almost any day. So let me open this uh, uh, small video. I hope it does not fail me. I tried it several times. So I will say Bismillah, let's open this one. So I will say Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mason, a software engineering from CCT Counterfeit Combat oh, sorry. Technology. I'm here today to give you a presentation on your application in Android and iOS. Update Palm Digital Research and Innovation Platform Applications. It's designed to helping farmers in general, palm farmers in particular, with to reach experts and researchers in their field. Exchange research and solve problems. I'm going to start by giving you a brief overview of the applications. Then I'll show you some of the features that make it so powerful. Finally, I'll open up the floor for questions. So let's get started. Date Palm Innovation Platforms, an online platform that provides a space for Date Palm stakeholders to share knowledge, collaborate on research, and develop innovative solutions to the challenges facing the date palm industry. The platform was launched in 2022 by the Arab Association for the Research of the Date Palm Arinaina and the International Center for Agricultural Research in the Dry Areas Ikada. To download an app from Google Play, you need to have a Google account and a device that is running Android. Here are the steps on how to uh, is the sound uh, uh, clear on your side? Yes. Okay, thank you. I just wanted to make sure that I'm not the only one who's listening to my video. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. Open the Google Play Store app. Tap on the search bar and type date Palm Innovation Platform. So this is how the... Uh, the uh, the uh, application will look like on the uh, let me go back one second so you could see it once you search for the uh, uh, date palm platform as an app on google google uh, on the uh, google play you will get this uh, view and you and you will be able to tap on yeah, the search. So this one is type date palm innovation platform. Mm -hmm. Tap on the apps icon when it appears in the search results. Tap on the install button. The app will start downloading and installing. Once the app is installed, you can open it by tapping on its icon. You can create an account with very simple steps. Enter your name. Email, phone number, password, organization type, and method.
After completing the registration, we will directly enter the application and benefit from the services from the sources, stakeholders, news, and the public forum. And it is possible to communicate directly through direct correspondence. the main user interface, it allows the user to view the latest news and events on the platform. The forum is a space for date palm stakeholders to share ideas ask questions and collaborate on research. Access to resources, the marketplace connects state farm stakeholders with the resources they need to succeed, such as farmers, researchers and businesses. This access to resources can help you to improve your date farm production. A marketplace, the marketplace connects date palm stakeholders with the resources they need to succeed, such as farmers, researchers and businesses. In the list of projects, the user is allowed to view the latest projects on the platform and interact with them. The application provides an environment to communicate and get help through the application via instant messaging chat. Datecom Innovation Platform in Apple Store. To download the Date Palm application from the Apple Store, open the App Store app on your iPhone or iPad. Tap on the search bar and type Date Palm. Tap on the Date Palm Innovation Platform app icon when it appears in the search results. Tap on the Get button. The app will start downloading and installing. Once the app is installed, you can open it by tapping on its icon. Thank you for watching. Okay. Uh, where am I now? Okay, I think uh, what I will do, I will just go over. This is the the uh, website or the portal for the Date Palm Innovation Free. That's uh, I already signed in. So if I want to sign again, I have to sign out. And you'll use the uh, you'll use your own email and password which you use in order to register. 
uh, here is uh, a quick view. That's the first page. That's what it will show you. It will show the uh, all the like the discussion forums and uh, uh, the projects, the resources. We have also the stakeholders here. Uh, these are all the stakeholders, the uh, research cross-cutting discussions. Oh, I'm sorry, these are the, the forums which we have. So if I go to, uh, to the, and before I go there, these are the members currently. And uh, these are the places where you can download the applications, which we talked about. These are, so we made them here on the first page. So it will become easier if you want to use the uh, the app rather than the platform, which is most of us would like to do. The discussion platforms, let me see if uh, I can open this, yes. So here, uh, these platforms are really very interesting. Let's say if I am uh, cross-cutting uh, forum, it means for everybody, cross-cutting, uh, all of us. Anyone can join this uh, platform or this uh, group and you can add a topic. And once you have a topic, people can reply as, uh, let me see if I can increase this guy here a little bit so I can see that. Okay. So here you see the, what type of forum is this? Uh, it's the gender forum. Uh, there are the number of views, the replies, the users who are, within this group and the date, which was uh, this this uh, uh, discussion topic, which was initiated. I can add a topic myself, a new topic that I want to discuss so that everybody can see that within the group. Uh, if I am part of the researcher groups, uh, we can add topics for research. These are the topics which were added by the members those who joined, like for example, the using of some natural additives and production of high energy and nutritional value date, uh, date bars. We have 1,492 views. Last time, which was, uh, it was visited February uh, 5th. Uh, there is another one here, uh, plant uh, pathology, etc. These are research topics that people are interested in pursuing them. Uh, now, uh, and and that's all for the for the uh, the rest of the groups. Each group has its own forum, and then uh, you can uh, add the topic. And if you are registered, you can click and uh, reply and interact, and so the people can see what you think on the topic. And that's what I mentioned earlier. If researchers uh, start a new topic and then there's a big interest in it and you need to create a project, maybe a project or even to get funds from the EU or from other places, you can uh, interact with the people who are most active on this topic. For example, going back here, uh, where was the big group? Yeah, here, let's say this one. There are almost 1,500 people, so you can ask these, send a message that I need people to start a project with me, and then you go to project, and you can start working uh, together. And the rest of the, these are all the forums here. Uh, now, the thing which I really uh, want to see more as uh, I'm a technical, I'm not the, uh, the owner of the platform. However, here I look. We have nine forums. Uh, we have 40 topics all over the forums. Uh, the posts, people who post some replies, etc. 72. Uh, there are four people who are online currently. And there is a total of 2,577 members on the platform. Now, uh, this platform has been uh, up for more than a year already. And I really... Next time we, uh, Dr. Rida facilitates and Dr. Uh, Atif they facilitate a new webinar. I myself, although I am not one of the stakeholders here, uh, would like to see this number 
multiplied at least by one zero to the right, so it becomes 25,000 rather than 2,000. Uh, the community of the palm dates uh, is really large. I have seen that in many occasions, many webinars. Uh, and the I know there are many other platforms, but this one, at least, it provides one more yet feature, which is the ability to interact directly through the platform rather than going through the social networks or other uh, means of communication. It's a very nice, uh, and I hope it will become benefit and it will enhance the industry at large. And uh, to eventually finally go back to the thank you slide, which was, where was it here? I forgot where is my thank you slide one more time. Yes. So this is my thank you slide. And if there is any uh, questions, I'll be more than happy to take them. The presentation, it's already in the, uh, uh, in hold by uh, Arenina, so you can get access to it or to any information if you want. Uh, and the, they also have the video and we are all available uh, either through the platform or through Arenina to answer any questions at any time. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks you, Dr. Rida, Dr. Atif, Dr. Nail, and the rest of the uh, top leaders here from the wall, the leaders in the agriculture uh, industry. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Muhammad, for uh, this uh, excellent presentation and uh, demonstration for the structure and governance of uh, architecture of the platform. And this is really uh, very nice. And also the, the videos that you provided also is, uh, you know, demonstrating how can we use the app. This is uh, really very helpful. And, uh, you know, we would really, on uh, behalf of the team, thank you very much for your great efforts in putting this uh, ICT to make the platform switching from uh, portal based to uh, mobile app and uh, get going to benefit uh, many people, especially the producers and farmers. So thank you very much. So uh, now um, we switch to uh, Q&A. So uh, we have a couple of questions. Uh, see them here, you know, a uh, question from Dr. Um, Muhammad Aziz is saying about the platform that the interaction is still very low, which is, uh, you know, uh, it's very true. So he said, like, we have more than 800 researchers who are working in the dead palm in the region, but we still have like 80 uh, interactive, uh, you know, user in the platform. So we, yes, yeah, so we see this is a very um, uh, critical point that we may focus in, and we encourage all colleagues that to uh, use the platform, whether in this portal based or uh, mobile app. So, Dr. Rida, do you want to say anything about this? Yes, please. Actually, uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, before I just respond to this question, there was a comment uh, about the how to sign in. Actually, when you sign in the first time, you sign in and then you will get an email from us because we have to verify that the person who is signing in is really somebody who is in agriculture, not uh, maybe hacker or something like that. So it's the first time where once you register, you will get an email from us with a temporary password. Then after that, you can use your uh, own your password and enter to the platform. But actually, Dr. Atif, as you said, uh, we just uh, now we are the final stage of the uh, whole project. And through the whole project, we used to meet with people, ask people to enter to the platform. And then we get comments from them in order to improve the structure of the platform. So now, actually, uh, as we start, for us, the platform is going to start today to be used for the people or by the whole people. And also, we just finished with the uh, applications on the phone. So now they are ready to be uh, used. And uh, from today, we are going to start communicating with all the people who are working in the date palm 
in order to make use of the platform itself or with the apps at the same time. And at the same time, we will try to get feedback from the people if in case there is a need to do something which we, are, we will be ready there. So for us, actually, uh, today, we say the platform is ready. And from now on, we are going to keep uh, following on the platform and keep in contacting the different institutions, farmers, industry, in order to get the people involved with us. Because now I think the, the platform is ready and uh, we could not say still we have to do so and so. Because you remember, every time we meet, we do a lot of uh, some corrections or some addition or deletion from the structure in the platform. So the platform now is ready. And from the people who are joining us today and from our effort now to communicate with all people, we would like the platform to reach out the stakeholders everywhere and to have the people involved with us. And as Dr. Mohammed said, it's not just only a question or part of our get information or exchange information or, or et cetera. Actually, we want people to get involved with the projects, with events where they can build up consortiums and have a project going on together. So this is actually, we are now shooting at having that level of uh, work together. So uh, please, uh, the people who are joining us today, let us spread the uh, link of the platform to all of our colleagues. We, we will get, you will get emails from us in order to outreach uh, most of the people in the field of date palm. We know there are a huge people, number of people, but now we can say the platform is ready so we can really get together and uh, use it. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rida, for the answering the, the question. Yes, we. Um, this was the low interaction because it was not ready, but now I think uh, the way of interaction going to improve a lot. So another uh, question here may be for Dr. Malkawi, and I think um, um, he asked about, uh, is there any way to also through the, the, um, the link uh, to other uh, accessible information through the platform, like other source of information that can be associated with the platform? I think in, uh, we have it somewhere. So do you want to elaborate more on this? Uh, yes, actually, there is the uh, major link on top, which is called resources. So if you, open, if you click on the resources, you will find the um, news, webinars, uh, conferences, and we are adding uh, more. Let's say, uh, I think we have also there a link for the uh, TAPI uh, platform and other platforms here. Uh, so... And then if uh, needed uh, to add more, this is very flexible. Uh, let's say if anyone has a platform or a useful website uh, that you want to provide the link, it can be added immediately by the technical assistance here. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Muhammad. And uh, I think uh, I have also a question here from uh, Dr. Adel. Uh, Zekizak is about uh, also um, the, the link for some other information and uh, he also uh, indicated that there are some videos related to culture of the date palm that also it's uh, posted in FEO uh, website that they can link so I also um, sure. maybe we look at it and also can have the link to those uh, helpful videos that also so it's, it's the good that we capitalize on all, all those things that we have and uh, have all these links together. So uh, because the, the matter here is the consolidation of the uh, uh, information that accessible and uh, access everywhere. So that's to, to consolidate. So having yes. those also linked to those videos that would be helpful, especially for farmers to demonstrate the, the culture practices as well. Um, uh, one of also the questions, uh, if there's a platform, the apps, uh, the, the um, uh, only by text or they can also upload some photos related to the topics and of interest and some videos that of interaction so people can, can uh, fastly interact or just by text? No, no, it's uh, by all means uh, text. Uh, videos, uh, sound, images uh, it can be uh, uploaded. You can use the link. Now, of course, uh, if the video is uh, 
very large size, then the platform may not be able to handle it. So you better uh, provide a link where the video is loaded, like in YouTube and other places, just like any other network. But the answer is yes. But just a comment on uh, adding the uh, links to other uh, places. Uh, if I were in the uh, in the administration of this, I would say yes, sure. But please add our uh, the link of our platform to your site as well, so people can uh, can visit us. <laughs> so it'll be an exchange. Thank you very much. I have also a couple of questions and again in the same uh, subject, uh, talking about the sustainability of the platform. So now it's established and how it is going to sustain. So, uh, and who's taking care about the maintenance, upgrade, update the knowledge information in the platform, uh, you know, between Arinina and FEO. So, uh, Dr. Do you want to say something? Well, yes, I thank you, uh, Jayan, uh, for asking this question. Actually, Arinina will uh, put every effort in order to sustain and to continue the work. But also, well, uh, we have uh, Dr. Vincent, we have Silveraju, we have Atif with us. So uh, please <laughs> also support us in order to continue the work because we will, I mean, we will do our effort, but this is actually, it's not for just Arinina, it's just, it's for the whole community of Date Palm for this important crop in the world for the time where everybody in the world cares about innovation, cares about uh, the climate change in the world, cares about the uh, food security in the world. Uh, everybody now is involved with the uh, nutrients and the transforming food systems in the world. So also, uh, we are also looking at the FAO to uh, also support us in this as well. Uh, can I can I make a comment, Doctor, on this? Yeah, please. Uh, uh, just I am reminded by uh, one of the interesting proverbs in Fal Arabi, Arab, where it says "Jamalun bi dinar, rasalun bi alfi dinar." It says, "Where uh, the cost of a camel is one uh, JD or one dollar, but the cost of running the camel is one thousand, uh, or sustaining it, the sustainability." Uh, I'm just uh, making it as a joke. I'm, we are not demanding. 1000 but definitely the sustainability requires uh, technical maintenance and more so as i alluded to it needs the interactivity of the stakeholders to to make it live uh, uh, and then until then uh, we will we are committed to uh, doing the maintenance the support the upgrade enhancement all of that, uh, we consider ourselves as partners. We are part of this uh, job. We are not. Uh, we are not software developers. We are not an outsourced warehouse. We are part of this. Uh, we loved it from the very beginning. So we will. We are, we are committed, but definitely our commitment should be also supported by the commitment of the uh, real members, the researchers, the farmers, the producers to use the platform. The more you use it, the more we will be uh, uh, excited about sustaining it and making it uh, enjoyable journey within the platform. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Reda and Dr. Uh, Malkawi. Uh, Silvaraju, do you wanna add something in here? Yeah, thank you, Adaf. Of course, you know, Arinina is uh, part of our network. Uh, we are very closely working with, uh, you know, uh, Arinina as part of the Tropical Agriculture Platform. And uh, so there are a lot of uh, multiple opportunities to continue this collaboration. I, I think, uh, you know, we have a good experience of sustaining these type of portals, uh, especially we have these two portals, which are uh, just... Uh, uh, small uh, in a way, um, uh, but uh, I think uh, the interactivity through uh, by engaging multiple stakeholders, that is, uh, that will be a lot of motivation to sustain this uh, uh, this uh, platform. The most interestingly, just I would like to highlight one additional point. Uh, this uh, this platform is the first one that we collaboratively uh, worked with our regional research and extension organizations. And this could be a good example 
and um, uh, this uh, this template uh, can be easily adapted to other uh, high value crops like uh, date palm in other regions uh, we had uh, some discussion uh, internally <clears throat> and uh, you know there may be a possibility if we have some resources and you know um, uh, we can uh, that there is a there is an excellent uh, platform and the template is available now to replicate to other uh, similar uh, commodities. So I thank uh, Ataf, uh, Rida and, uh, and also uh, Dr. Mohammed for uh, this excellent uh, work. And we really enjoyed this collaboration for the last uh, two and a half years. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Silvaraju. I Yes, please. Yeah, actually, as Dr. Silveraju said, actually we have been getting uh, contacted by many people asking why not having a olive platform because you know olive also in the region is a, a huge crop in the Mediterranean area. So actually, people are really asking. But we uh, told them that we, this is the first project we started. We developed this platform. So yes, I mean there are some calls on other crops, especially the major crops like olives. Yeah, thank you, uh, Dr. Reda and uh, Sidraju for highlighting this. And also for in terms of sustainability of this, uh, I want to emphasize here, this platform is owned by stakeholders. So if we don't have the ownership of this, like you know, the, the user. So even if we, from our side as Arenina and FEO, if we don't put in, you know, uh, if we put in uh, efforts and financial and technical, but it's not adapted, is not, uh, you know, interacted and not used by what's meant for, so it's not going to be even sustained. So I encourage all of you, please, to interact and please use it as much as you can. And from our side, we will uh, do our, uh, you know, uh, level best to keep it alive and uh, beneficial for for uh, for all uh, the stakeholders. So uh, thank you very much. So I think we addressed uh, all questions. Of, um, you know. Um, so I. Think so. So, if there is any missed question, so yeah, we can still communicate in, uh, in uh, separately, and we will be very happy to communicate with you all. And uh, we coming to the end of uh, our webinar, so we would like to really thank all of you for your active participation and your commitments and your time. And with that, I would really uh, thank very much Dr. Reda and his great team for this great work. And also thank uh, my colleagues from uh, FEO who really would be, you know, the head and soldier behind this work and uh, Cristiano, Julia, Sivrajo, all, all the team supported us. And uh, from uh, Dr. Reda's side, Arinina, you know, uh, Dr. Nail, Isra, Raya, and Dr. Malkao and his team. We were like, you know, over the last two years, like really uh, one team. We did not differentiate between FEO and Arenina, and even with the patients of the stakeholders, they were with us for many, many meetings that we felt also we are like a, a one big team working toward the production of this platform. So I would really thank very much uh, colleagues who participated was asked to validate this during the different stages of uh, development and establishment of this platform and also during the validation to make sure that we are doing something going to benefit all. So uh, they were patient with us and we got their feedback and also improved the process. So it was a, a very a long journey of uh, learning and feedback and uh, upgrade and improve the, what we uh, are doing. So uh, with this, I really would really to thank very much uh, uh, Arinina and colleagues and also uh, stakeholders from different countries who are really uh, was in, uh, very committed during the, the development of, uh, of this platform and uh, we are very delighted to keep you informed about the evolution of this platform and we will keep you informed what's the you know uh, going on and what's going to be for the next step so with this i uh, move the floor to uh, dr silvrajo if he wants to add a few things before we give the floor to dr reda for uh, closing 
Yeah, thank you, Adaf, because you know I said all. Uh, so uh, I once again thank all uh, colleagues uh, of uh, Arivina, led by uh, Dr. Rita, and also in his team uh, who have supported uh, this work. And now this platform is online and uh, it's interactive. Uh, that's the additional dimension to this platform. And uh, there are many suggestions, you know, the possibility of including videos and also documents, et cetera. I think uh, that will also enhance the interactivity uh, as it was suggested by several participants. So I thank once again all the uh, partners and all the colleagues engaged in this process. And I also thank um, my uh, colleagues in the FAO regional office in Cairo. They were very supportive and collaborative throughout this process. And they are also very well informed uh, the whole uh, development uh, from our side as well as uh, from our Arivina side. So um, there are multiple other initiatives related to date palm and uh, there are a lot of synergies. And uh, I think uh, uh, this particular platform provides opportunities to enhance the synergies uh, focusing on the sustainable and aid palm production systems. So thank you very much. And thank you very much, Sivraj. This is our excellent point. Thank you very much. So Dr. Rida, the floor is yours. Thank you, Dr. Adif. Uh, well, actually, I would like to thank everyone who joined us today and in the discussion of this, uh, the platform. Uh, actually, uh, also a lot of thanks to you, Dr. Adif and Dr. Sivraj, where you capture that small concept note and you turned it to a project right away. And that really helped us uh, to go ahead. And also uh, we got the uh, technical people who are really uh, have the experience, Dr. Mohammed Melkawi actually, uh, and his team, they are uh, eminent researchers in this field. So we had no problems of establishing the platform and getting it to work in the right manner. Uh, also, I would like really to express my thanks to the people who joined us through the process of from day to one until we reached this day with the many meetings, with their times and with the discussion, with the feedback we got from them. Uh, actually, uh, the team of Arenina also, I would like to thank them who uh, really spent all the time following up on every uh, aspect and in every activity in order to get to the time what we are uh, at now. Uh, one thing I would like to say that we in the NIA region, we are in the region actually which needs knowledge, which needs innovation, which needs because we are facing a lot of challenges. We are in a region where a drop of water means a lot. We are in a region where climate change is a big hassle and a big problem. We are in a region, we are no longer talking about land production, but we are talking about the uh, cubic meter production, production per uh, unit of water in the region where we are. We are in an area where uh, we have a huge uh, percentage of our farmers. They are smallholder farmers. They are vulnerable communities. So actually, uh, the uh, support which we get, actually, it's, help, it's helping our region. It's getting us to get to the people and to work with the people. And uh, really, I would like to thank you at the FA office, the Office of Innovation, for the support of this project. We will continue our work. We will not stop. Arenina has its mandate. Arenina has its strategy. We have our plan of action. So we are executing our plan of action. So we will never stop. And you will find us inviting you for other webinars. And you will see many people joining the platform. And we will talk about how to also improve the uh, platform in order to uh, serve more uh, forums and serve more in the communities of Date Palm. So thank you so much. And uh, it says give or forgive. So please forgive us if we uh, somehow took a lot of your time. But also thank you again for joining us in this uh, event, which we enjoyed actually over the one and a half hour. Thank you so much, Dr. Adha. Thank you very much, Dr. Reda, for excellent closing. And uh, this is really very much appreciated, the collaboration. So we are coming to the end of the meeting. So with this, I would thank also the participants who are patient to be with us for this and also before. And the many of, of the participants today also, they join us uh, during the journey last two years. 
So we are coming yes to the end of the meeting, but we're coming to the start of the actual work actually. So that's going to be a start of using the platform. So I encourage all of you, all of us to really make this uh, platform as, uh, alive as much as we can. So uh, this is the, the start point of this. And uh, we may, you know, from time to time have uh, like, you know, uh, a feed up, uh, uh, feedback um, uh, meetings, but, you know, uh, we will keep uh, interact together through the platform and, uh, and keep it uh, beneficial as much as we can. So with this, I thank you all and wish you all the best in the rest of the day. And thank you very much. And the meeting is over. Thank you. Thank you.